Are we in the end times? Is it all going to end? Now, today, tomorrow? Ah! A little bit hyperbolic. Um, <laughs> I've just been curious, as may maybe others out there, about, you know, especially what has gone on since 2020, if, you know, <laughs> this is it. I don't know. There's a lot of curious ideas around if we are in the end times, if we aren't, who really knows, who really knows anything in general. I don't know. <laughs> some, the more I research, the more I get confused. Maybe at some point I'll try to get someone on um, Spearlift who can give some interesting insight into this idea of the end times just for general curiosity. We'll see. But there's just a lot of interesting developments that have happened since last year and continue to happen. So we never know, right? But it's always fun to question, explore, and I just want to kind of leave this video open more to you guys. Comment below. Are we in the end times? Do you know? Do you actually know? Do you think we are? Do you think we aren't? Why or why not? It would be awesome to share. So let's have fun with this and, you know. It's always good a question, right? So I have a very brief, brief, brief article from, um, came across, there's so many of the things that question this out there, but this is actually from thankful for the gospel. The book of acts is the COVID-19 global pandemic sign of the end times. I'm not too incredibly familiar with the source, but Something I just came across and it's out there so you can research it more for yourself and see what you think. It's just a brief article. So some say that the recent events mean the world is, is uh, the end of the world is near. Sorry. It's the COVID-19 global pandemic, a sign of the end times. The Bible teaches that before Jesus returns to establish his kingdom, on earth, there will be a seven-year period known as the tribulation or the day of the Lord. Some are concerned that we are now in that period of tribulation. But as bad as the pandemic may be, I do not believe to the day, to it to be the day of the Lord. Okay, so this is this person's opinion. Um, his name is Dr. Michael Riddleneck. Riddleneck? Um, first, none of the corollary events connect to the tribulation period have taken place. Earthquakes, famines, and terrifying signs in the heavens are mentioned in Luke 21. We have tons of earthquakes in Mexico, so I don't, maybe that's all over the world he's talking about. Revelation 6, 12 through 14 describes the sixth seal judgment, which will take place in the first half of the seven year tribulation, violent earthquakes, cosmic signs in the heavens, and the uprooting of the mountains and the islands. Holy moly. Um, the day of the Lord will include plagues, but also other terrifying events, which, excuse me, my nose itches, uh, have not occurred yet. While we are enduring a pandemic now, other plagues in the past have been more serious than this one. Second, the man of lawlessness has not been revealed. Maybe it's my neighbor. In this first century, false teachers spread the idea that the tribulation had already begun. In Second Th Thessalonians 2.3, Paul said, The man of lawless, lawlessness had not yet been revealed. Paul was speaking of a coming world dictator, the future false messiah, also called the Antichrist. First John 2.18, and the beast. Revelations 13, 1 through 10. Since the person has not yet been revealed, we are not yet in the day of the Lord. Third, Israel has not signed a covenant which with the future false Messiah. Daniel 9, 27 indicates that the end times seven-year tribulation will begin when the future false Messiah makes a tree with the leadership of Israel. 
It has not yet been signed, so we are not in that tribulation. We should not be surprised that we are facing difficulties, Jesus said. In this world, you will have trouble. John sixteen thirty three. Nevertheless, we are not to fear. Nothing can befall us apart from God's loving hand. He will bring us through the crisis or home to his loving arms. So, according to this doctor, we are not in that time right now. The world is definitely a very different place, um, and it's ever-changing, I would say. Um, I would really like to get someone on the channel to talk about this in more detail, and maybe a couple of people from different perspectives, because I think it would be interesting to really dive into the minutia of our existence, you know. I don't, you know, I just try to facilitate conversations. I'm not an expert in anything. However, I like to always be curious and intrigued about everything on this journey of life, a journey to a better you, a journey to a better us. That's what Spirit Lift is all about. So comment below. Are we in the end times? Do you have proof of that? What do you think? It would be awesome to know. Take care, everyone.